Hello everyone. Welcome to Startup GK quiz number 191. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm with Trisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which of the following battles foiled Napoleon's scheme of invading England in 1805? The correct answer is Battle of Trafalgar. The Battle of Trafalgar was a naval engagement fought by the British Royal Navy against the combined fleets of the French and Spanish navies during the War of the Third Coalition of the Napoleonic Wars. The Treaty of Portsmouth brought an end to a war in 1905 fought between who? The correct answer is Russia and Japan. The Treaty of Portsmouth formally ended the 1904-1905 Russo-Japan War. It was signed on September 5, 1905 after negotiations lasting from August 6 to August 30 at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, Maine, United States. Abel Johnson, who is known for the discovery of Tasmania and New Zealand in 1642, hailed from which of the following countries? The correct answer is Netherlands. Abel Johnson Tasman was a Dutch seafarer, explorer and merchant, best known for his voyages between 1642 and 1644 in the service of the Dutch East India Company. He was the first known European explorer to reach the islands of Van Diemen's Land and New Zealand and to sight the Fiji Islands. The struggle between opposing economic forces whose ultimate result is the emergence of a classless society highlights which among the following schools of thought? The correct answer is Marxism. Marxism is a theory and method of working class self-emancipation. As a theory, it relies on method of socio-economic analysis that views class relations and social conflict using a materialist interpretation of historical development and takes a dialectical view of social transformation. The Magna Carta was a charter of rights granted to the Englishman during 1215 AD by which of the following? The correct answer is King John II. Magna Carta is a Latin word which in English means Great Charter. It is the most important document of England signed on 15 June 1215 at Runnymede alongside the river Thames in the English county of Surrey. It had originated as a peace and truce treaty between King John and a group of rebellious barons within his kingdom. The document had written promises between King John and his subjects mentioning that the king will govern England and deal with its people according to the customs of feudal law. The Habeas Corpus Act of 1679 was drawn up during the reign of which of the following? Correct answer is King Charles II. The Habeas Corpus Act 1679 is an act of the Parliament of England passed during the reign of King Charles II to define and strengthen the ancient prerogative writ of Habeas Corpus, whereby persons unlawfully detained can be ordered to be prosecuted before a court of law. Who among the following is well known as Little Copper? The correct answer is Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French statesman and military leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and led several successful campaigns during the French Revolutionary Wars. He was the emperor of the French as Napoleon I from 1804 to 1814 and again briefly in 1815 during the Hundred Days. Bartolomeu Diaz was a Portuguese explorer connected with which of the following? The correct answer is Cape of Good Hope. Bartolomeu Diaz, a nobleman of the Portuguese royal household, was a Portuguese explorer. He sailed around the southernmost tip of Africa in 1488, the first to do so, setting up the route from Europe to Asia later on. Diaz is the first European during the Age of Discovery to anchor at what is present-day South Africa. The longest estuary is on which of the following rivers? The correct answer is Orb River. Gulf of Orb forms at the confluence of the Bia and Katun rivers, which have their origins in the Alte Mountains. It is the westernmost of the three great Siberian rivers that flow into the Arctic Ocean, the other two being Yenisei River and the Lena River. The Gulf of Orb is the world's longest estuary. What is Turles? The correct answer is a rocket launching station. TURL stands for Tsumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station and it was established in 1962. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.